All right, stay there for one second. If you're a small business owner, um, how would a four-day week work for you? Or maybe you believe that ultimately your customers are the ones that would suffer if you were working just a four-day week. Call me right now on 6797981. You can text or WhatsApp 0877989898. 0877989898. Margaret Cox is director of uh, the ICE Group, a recruitment training and outsource services company uh, who have announced uh, plans to introduce a four-day working week. Margaret, welcome to 98FM. Thank you. Good to talk to you. Margaret, uh, why, where does the idea come about for a four-day week? Well, our CEO, uh, Phelan MacDonald, has been, I suppose, looking at ways over the last number of years that um, we can make the business more, um, I suppose, more dynamic and more flexible. And in the last probably six to nine months, we'll begin to see um, a move in the direction of a four-day week. And we looked at our business to say, well, is this something that we could implement? I guess what we do in ICE is... um, we uh, change people's lives through training, through finding them another job, through promotional opportunities. Uh, we place people with clients who have vacancies. So um, we, we change the lives of our customers. And what we wanted to do as an organization was change the lives of our employees. And we believe that if we were to do that, um, we would become more productive. A bit like your caller was saying a second ago, I overheard it. Um, we would be more productive. People come into work fresher. You have three days every weekend and you come back to work on uh, your four-day week and you get the job done. And you're happier. Your family are happier. Your partners are happier. And our customers, ultimately, uh, are going to be the winners as well because they're going to be happier and we we'll continue to deliver 100%. Okay, so is, is your company open five days? Or are you only open four now? No, we're going to be. We actually open across um, six days because some of our offices are open on a Saturday. So our company, the hours that the company is open will remain the same. But people's individual hours will change. So everybody who's a full-time employee, now we will still have some part-time employees who are not affected. But the full-time five-day-a-week employee will now have a choice to work Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and be off on Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Mm -hmm. Or they may choose to work Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then they're off Saturday, Sunday and Monday. So every weekend, three-day weekend, and then the four days, depending on which of the two work patterns they pick. Okay, okay, so meanwhile, your company stays open uh, for those days, but it's just the way in which staff uh, work four out of the five days. Um, Will they still work a 39 or 40-hour week? No, the working uh, hours will have reduced. So um, at the moment, we've moved to a nine-hour day, so it'll be 36 hours um, a a week. And uh, our aim is to, if possible, perhaps by Christmas or early in the new year, if we can do it and if it's been the total success that we expect it to be, we may be able to reduce that further. We're trying to, I guess, work... Okay, so sorry sorry to cut across you, Margaret. So the the, the, the staff will work a nine-hour, four-day week. Yes, that's correct. Okay, so instead of working 39 hours over five days, they're working uh, 36 hours over four days. Yes, and they will be paid the same rate as they would have been paid for the 39-hour week. Okay, which is very good. Now, what was the reaction of staff when you proposed this? Um, It was really interesting. Uh, Some people thought it was a joke. They thought, this is not happening. Um, could it possibly be true? Uh, one of the ladies, and we have some videos on our website, which is 4dayweek.ie, but one of the girls, Tracy, she said, I went home and called a family meeting and told everybody what was happening, and then we went out to dinner to celebrate. So um, we have absolute... Uh, real, real happiness um, a little bit of trepidation because we all know that as a team we've still got to deliver for our customers mm-hmm. um, but absolutely uh, totally committed to making this a reality and making it happen and making it a success um, so it was great, we had a fabulous day on the 24th of May where we introduced the concept, we did some training for the staff so that we could think creatively and outside of the box how we can deliver and we tried to identify the challenges that we need to overcome in order to make it, make it successful. Okay, so the, the staff nearly fell off their chairs basically when they uh, were told you're only going to be working a four day week uh, but on the same pay uh, with a That's slightly longer work day, nine hours of a work day and... <laughs> 
do you believe that this is the future? Um, in terms of, we, we we often hear about this, you know, this work-life balance that's so important for our well-being, for our mental health, for everything. Do you believe that this is the future? Um, I do, and in all honesty, it's taken me a little bit of time to get to this point. I, I guess the education we've gone through in the last six months. Um, I, I do think it's the way of the future. If uh, it's all about instead of measuring hours, it's about measuring productivity. It's about making sure that you do whatever it is that you have to do. And then once it's done, that's okay. Um, and that's a culture change. But we see the way that the world is today in terms of how busy everybody is, how long it might take you to get to work, how difficult it might be if you're a parent to organize childcare. So employers and organizations need to be flexible and they need to be a uh, adaptive in their work practices to make sure that um, they're doing the best for the people who work for them and ultimately then the best for their business and the best for their clients. So I do think it's, I think we're going to see a change. I know there have been rumblings over the last um, probably nine months. Uh, we believe we're the first uh, company in Ireland from a pioneer point of view pushing it out there and sort of saying, look, this is what we're doing. This is how we're doing it. Let us share the learnings with you the challenges, the wins, etc. And um, hopefully other companies, if it suits them, will be in a position to come on board. Okay, so what sorts of companies do you think this would suit ultimately? Well, you know, Adrian, I would have said to you six months ago, it'll never suit us. Mm. You know, we're open Monday to Saturday and we have uh, 50 people working across a number of locations, Galway, Limerick and Sligo and an office in Sydney and an office in Dublin. Um, and I would have said it wouldn't have suited us. But we sat down and we looked at it and we said, well, how do we measure our work? So I think companies that are able to measure the output in a day um, and who don't need people to... Uh, they need to work in a team, but they're not dependent. It's not like a relay race where you have to hand the bat on from one person to the next. You can just work for the good of the team. So I think organizations like that, organizations in the service industry, organizations in the retail industry, I mean, essentially any organization, if they open their minds to it, can probably creatively put a solution in place for, for everything like that. Mm. All right, let me t- take a couple of calls on this on 67979891. You can text or WhatsApp 87 Ninety-eight, ninety-eight. Would a four-day working week work in your office or your uh, workplace? Paddy's in Charlestown. Paddy, welcome to 98 FM. Uh, thanks. Well, uh, what do you think of this idea? I'd love a four-day week. It would be amazing. Yeah, no, I, I would myself. <laughs> um, I don't see it happening anytime soon for the sort of work that no. we do, but um, do you think it would be proud? What sort of work do you do? I serve as fire alarm systems. Fire alarm systems, okay. So in theory, uh, I assume there's a few people working with you, is there? Or do you work yeah, on your own? Us, yeah. No, there's a few of us, yeah. There's a few of you, okay. So in theory, you could work Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday, and one of your colleagues would work Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. Yeah, exactly. Well, as I said, one of the one of the fellas there, your aunt said, he wouldn't even mind working up the hours. Like I'd still do that as well, to get off an extra day. Yeah. And as a matter of interest, uh, Margaret, with the with the yeah. extra couple of hours that you're talking about, where they have to work a 36-hour uh, four-day week rather than a 39-hour five-day week, that was no issue at all for the for the staff, was it? No issue at all. I mean, we put it, and part of the the training that we did was, you know, where would be the challenges? And um, people came up with really interesting ideas. For instance, um, and this has come from the people themselves, nobody's going to look for a day off or a couple of hours off in the middle of the work week to do a doctor's appointment unless it's an emergency because they're going to arrange it for their day off. Mm. Um, One of the guys said, okay, that's it. No more hangovers at work Monday through uh, Thursday. Um, Now, hopefully most of our people don't have hangovers at work but it was a bit of a laugh that sort of everybody was saying what what changes do we need to make in our personal lives in order to give us that additional uh, one day that gives us a three day weekend every weekend all right um, samir you're on 98 fm how are you samir i'm good now samir you actually have to work seven days a week just to pay the bills seven days i i i wake up like half six in the morning until the uh, like six, seven, eight afternoon. Wow. Yeah. Now, 
We uh, we hear about work life balance and how that is so important to us. Do you have any work life balance then? I mean, you know, yourself uh, was easier before, but now with the economy, you know, the paying the rent and the bills are so expensive. You have to work, you know, double these days. And like I told the previous, uh, I have a wife that doesn't work and I have two kids, six year old and two year old, you know. Okay, so working a four day week just wouldn't work for you. I mean, you right. know, you need the, you need to raise two kids and, uh, you know, you have to pay like 2,000 euro, like uh, rent. How do we going to work with four days? Yeah, well, uh, in your case, I, I I can't see how it would work if you're uh, if you're currently working a seven day week. Pete, you're on ninety eight FM. How are you, Pete? Good afternoon, Adrian. How are you getting on? Uh, good, thank you, Pete. What do you want to say? Yeah, just uh, just on, on that. In an ideal world, it'd be lovely to work four days a week, Adrian. Remember, like I work for myself. I have to work six days a week to, to cover the bills, keep the customers happy, and make sure that uh, everything runs smoothly. You know, mm. and I do that. I do that nearly every week six days a week, Monday to Saturday. And I could be working from eight to six, it could be working from nine to seven, it could be working from seven to seven. You just don't know, you just gotta do what you gotta do. I look it it'd be wonderful to be able to be at home and spend as much time as you can with our family. But you know, kids nowadays as well, Adrian, have so many activities that have to be paid for. Somebody's gotta pay the bills. So four days a week, you know in an ideal world, it'd be fantastic. But okay, but in the in the case of this company that we're talking to here, they didn't drop staff's wages. They just made their workday a little bit longer, and uh, they're able to uh, get the work done. But that's that's brilliant, you know. And, and and if you can do that, fantastic. But you're going to eventually fall into a, fall into a, part, a, a, a problem with that, is where people are going to get sick of working long hours every day. Is that you an know? is that an issue at all, Margaret? Well, it, it wasn't one of the concerns that came up from the from the people. We had 50 people in the room uh, working through what their concerns might be. So it wasn't an issue. But, you know, if it if it is an issue, then we need to deal with it at the time. I think that having, um, it's not an awful lot extra every day. And having uh, been able to finish on a Thursday evening and a Friday evening and knowing that you have three days off before you come back into work again, mm. I think that will make a big difference. And we're looking at technology. We're looking at ways that we do our job in order to make us more productive and less stressed. So I would hope that that isn't something that happened. In fact, I believe it's something that won't happen, that people will still be committed to working uh, the patterns that gives them that three-day weekend. Finally, Margaret, you're director of uh, ICE Group. Are you working a four-day week? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm a bit like that. Uh, your other two gentlemen, sometimes you work six days, sometimes you work longer. But I know I'm really hoping that um, I get to have more time off and I'll be better able to do something with it. That's my hope. And um, I think it's important that uh, we all share the benefits all right. um, because I don't want to be annoyed with my employees when they're off a uh, three day weekend and I feel I'm working too hard. So I'm hoping that that work for us at least some of the weekends. Margaret Cox, Director of Ice Group, thanks very much indeed for uh, joining us. And if you want some more information about that, uh, you can check out the website 4dayweek.ie, the number 4dayweek.ie.